Hey guys, I'm back. Um, still a little sick, but we're gonna work through this. Um, I think I forgot to say what, what lipstick I had on. At first, I had on Beige Pop 04 with um, Max Chestnut Lip Liner. Well, right now, I have on Chestnut Lip Liner with Bellissima from Stila. That's it. I don't have nothing else on my lips. So, um, it's time for a haul. Um, let's start with this. I got this off Amazon. I think I paid, let's see, like 40 bucks for this. This was the digital hair straightening brush. And I used it on this hair after I washed it. I just took sections and just brushed it flat, you know, just add a little bit of bend to it, just a tad bit. Over here and show you the actual product. Here it is. It's pink. And this part, like up in here, heats up to um, 450 degrees I think and you just it's not on of course but you know just brush it through the hair and like just bend it how you want it to be and you have like a little wave or something in the hair I saw this on Facebook and I was like oh my god I have to try this so I got that I'm a strange one I like trying out different things um I ordered this from salon centric this is the hydra source um what was it uh, matrix hydra source mask conditioner I like using this on I like using this mask on my natural hair to do a deep conditioning treatment on my hair so okay now I ended up going to Walmart and I was such I was so much impressed with um, my Revlon um, foundation what is it the 24 hour color color stay I was such impressed with that foundation that I wanted to try some more drugstore um, foundations so I got the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 hold on okay making myself confused I got this one this is in 875 soft sable so I got this one. I think this is a. It's gonna be a little bit too dark, but I can always share it out with something else. But um, yeah, I want to try this. I think this is matte foundation. I think it has lasting power. It says it has a lasting, all day fabulous coverage, lasting power of primer, coverage of a concealer blendable blendability of a foundation in one shine free so I guess this is a it's a matte but I wanted to try this and I wanted to try their um stay luminous I could pick a color well I thought this one is a, this is still soft sable but I think this one is um the shade down from it classic tan so I was gonna mix classic tan in with um soft sable because it's such it's really really dark and I could also mix it in with the other one too just to add a little bit of shine or so but you know mix and match so I wanted to try those excited about that then I ordered some Jeffree Star lipsticks already now I got the I got three of them I got doll parts I ended up not getting doll parts and then I saw like a picture of somebody with it 
And I was like, I gotta get that. I just got some good thoughts. Um, I got mistletoe. And what is the other one? Androgyny. I think I tried androgyny already. But yeah, look at these. Yes. Yes. Androgyny is so pretty. So yeah, I got these three. Really happy about those. We'll be doing looks with that green one for Christmas. I got them so pretty. Then I wanted to try out um, Makeup Geek's new eyeshadows. The new formulated mattes. And I would like to say that I finally got their, um, what is that? Their shimmery eyeshadows. I finally got it to work. And I used um, this Prepping Prime 24 hour on my lid. I, I put it down like as a base and then I put it on. Um, I got this idea from Nikki Tutorials. Um, she was saying that, you know, you put shimmery stuff or bronzy. I can't even really think how she said it, but it doesn't go anywhere and it doesn't like get on the top part of your lid. And I used that with the um, Makeup Geek shadows that I had such a problem with that just, they just crease like crazy. This is the Holy Grail right here. I will buy this over and over again just so I can use those because it is pretty it just it just creeps like crazy so but I got one two three four four eyeshadows from Makeup Geek I got Morocco Enchanted Forest Curfew Cherry Cola Cherry Cola was something I just had to get and Americana Americano let me show you Cherry Cola. Yes. Well, it still feels really dry. But the pigmentation is pretty good. Excuse my dry hands. Pigmentation seems really nice. Still, it doesn't seem soft. Like other people keep saying, like, it's really buttery and soft. It's like, it's not buttery and soft. Kind of dry. But it could be my batch. Never know. But yeah, I got those. I'm not going to do swatches on all of them because I don't want to make this video even longer than it should be. Um... I went into Sephora. Um, I had to return. I, think I returned all that um, from my VIB um, haul. Uh, that fresh um, serum. I returned. I don't know why I'm moving that around. I returned that, and I ended up using. Um, I ended up having to get a card because I left my wallet at home, and they gave me a um, store credit like a card or whatever and I um purchased these 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 two things and I got the rest of the money on my um card and then I just bought some stuff online so um I got the excuse my voice I'm so sorry um <clears throat> I got the Lancome um Magnificent concealer and this is in bronze I'm actually happy that I went in and I actually swatched this because um, I was going to get another color and it would have been the wrong color. It was too, too, too light. But this is bronze. This is a concealer. I've been kind of dibbling into Lancome with their eyeliners and, you know, I have so many foundations. So, yeah, I got this. I can't wait to try it out. Amongst my many, many concealers. I guess this sale just opened up the floodgates for me to go shopping. These stuff, they need to be. Okay. Okay, I got this eyeshadow. And it's broken. I should return it and just get another one. But this one is like always out. 
Um, but it's not bad. The whole thing was kind of like trying to come out, but I pushed it back in. Uh, this is Thunderstruck. And I saw people talking about this as a highlighter. And I also wanted to, well, who was this? Oh, Battle Lash. Battle Lash was talking about this. This is so soft. It's like... I tried it out when I was in the store and I was like, oh my god. And this was like the last one. It's like, it's not showing up on camera, but I swear to you, it's like a pink, pinkish color. I swear, oh my god. This is so pretty. Okay, so yeah, I got that and I was able to salvage it. So this is going somewhere safe. It won't be jassled around. Okay, then I was watching Vintage or Tacky and she was talking about this palette and then I was like, at first I was not going to get the gem palette but she said that these eyeshadows were, were pretty good, you know. And I am a fan of gem and holograms and I, I couldn't just say no to this palette. Like, I wanted to be her for Halloween. I watched this cartoon like a lot when I was a kid. Um, I was just mentioning before the movie came out, before I even saw the preview for the movie, I didn't go and see the movie, by the way, because I don't like how they um, did it. But um, I was just talking to somebody about um, cartoons from back in the day and stuff. And I always say gem and holograms, and I just, I have to get this, just for the fact that I am a really big fan of gem and holograms. So I got this palette, and I will be doing a look with it, um, but it will be subdued a tad bit, because I want to do more um, um, fall appropriate type of looks, because this can go really summer, summer cha-cha diva as i call myself in the summer um cha-cha diva really really fast and i would be bright out but yeah i got this very happy about it so it makes me smile just remembering when you were a kid just like uh, when you just had to get up on a sunday saturday morning and watch your cartoons and you were just fine you were happy you had nothing you had nowhere to go and you didn't have bills <laughs> Okay. Alright, I bought this. This is the Tatcha Pure um, One Step Cleansing Oil. But I got the smaller bottle. So I really don't understand why it's in this huge, huge bottle. I mean, this huge thing. I got a little bitty bottle of this. This is like $14. There you go. I got this. It's like 14 bucks. I wanted to try it out before I actually, if I wanted to get a full bottle of it. Um, also got a Makeup Forever eyeshadows. Got the three pan palette. I got M704. Of course, it's a matte. I cannot believe I end up getting another another couple of eyeshadows from them. Um, then I got I736. Look at that. So gorgeous. Look at that. Oh! Mm -hmm. I did not have these colors and I ended up watching the fancy face and she did this look with this eye color and I was like oh my god I have to do that for um, Thanksgiving and this is I730 now these are blush colors that's probably why I didn't get them at the time oh my god these are so beautiful
I'm so happy about this. These oranges just gave me life. Then I ordered from Tarte. And I got the new Tarte Met palette. Did not think I was going to get this. I saw the swatches and everything. And I'm like, I'm not going to get that. I'm not going to get that. And I got it. <laughs> I am a, I'm just like, I'm a sucker. Like, seriously. Um, I really did like their first palette. And I just felt like mm, it needed a little bit more browns in it or whatever. But I still liked it. Nonetheless, look at this. Y'all, look at those right there. Like, mm. And then, the, then they have like, one, two, three. Three shimmers that would just whew, give you life. And then like the other mattes are beautiful just as well. I'm just, I love Tarte's palette. I have at least what this one is two. Four. I have four of their palettes. And they're amazing. I just their mattes are gorgeous. And then their shimmers are just fabulous. Just oh so fabulous. Um so yeah, I had to get this. I had to. I had to. I saw I saw too many swatches and I just said screw it. I'm just gonna get it. I got it when it came out. I got it um off Tarte's website. Then I also purchased because one of my subscribers told me about this and told me this I should check this company out. And this is Fashion Fair um cream to powder um foundation there you go my light bleeping i gotta go um i got bronze i'm gonna do a look with this just to see how it looks um but yeah um it's probably gonna be a little bit too dark but we we'll fix it um i'm thank you to whoever told me about this um to try out their foundation i think i am truly truly done with foundations because it seems like it's really 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 hard for me to find um colors in other companies um for myself i sold like i, I said in another video i sold some stuff to glambot um my ysl and my one of my dior's in Georgia Armani because it seems like after like I was trying to go back into them and start using them more and it just did not it wasn't working and I kept looking ashy as hell you know and I just if I'm not using it and it's not working for me I just needed to get rid of them so I have um I have what I need I don't need no more um but I do have, I did order um, the palette from AJ Crimson. It's like a whole set of their, of his, his um, foundations. I really wanted that because I um, enjoy using the little samplers to use the highlight and contour. And I wanted to get that to do all of that because his, his, his stuff is more um, creamier than um, Anastasia's. Anastasia's um, cream contour palette is very dry and his is very his foundations are more creamier so I wanted to get that and I did and it should be coming it should be shipping out at the end of this week so I should be able to show you that soon but after that I'm hoping against hope that that is the end of my foundation I think I'm just gonna love and use what I have and just show you how I do my face so um bye looking for my why is it like everything just leaves right when I'm gonna do something oh I found it okay so bye until next time thank you for watching sorry for my voice we're gonna get it back together so bye